So today we are back with Counseling Minus the Bull with Candice, um, where our journey here is to love, growth, and heal. So um, we're going to start with our check-ins. So our check-ins, if you're new, is just um, basically, how are you feeling today? And as long as it's positive, as long as it is appropriate, then go ahead and put your mood in the comment below. Um, so for me, I do dance moves. Uh, so I can't think of one. <laughs> so today, um, the dance move for me is going to be... I thought I thought about this. Definitely didn't think about it, as you can see. So anyway, <laughs> um, go ahead and put your moves below, guys. Um, so the point of this video is going to be about the prom movie review. Um, so the prom is a movie on Netflix that just came on Netflix a few days ago, um, I believe so. And um, so let's just start with the summary. So the movie is about... Um, the main character Emma and um, so she has decided to um, come out and let the world know by um, taking her girlfriend to the prom so once the school found out which I'm like this has to be a movie because typically the school won't know till later on but <laughs> um, yeah, so the school found out and decided to cancel the prom. Um, so the movie really starts to take place as, um, so there's also some Broadway um, celebrities that's in the movie um, that um, decides that they've had some bad publicity. And the way today, uh, the way they can redeem themselves is to um, help Emma um, as, the you know, to renew their reputation so they're going to help emma um have this prom and get through this um challenging time for her okay so that's how it started um so it was five broadway celebrities that um decided they wanted to help you know pretty much damage control for their reputation um so yes so they decided to go ahead and go to Emma, which was in Edgewater, Indiana. Um, they made a lot of references in the movie to Indiana. It's like, maybe it's not so up to date. <laughs> I was just say I do not agree with that. Anyway, um, so they, so it was in here to Edgewater, Indiana. And um, they went to Edgewater, Indiana, and they wanted to help Emma with this prom and it being canceled and the challenges she's facing, um, to save face for their name. So they went there and then, um, met Emma, tried to, well, set, started to stand up for her, started to give her this confidence and this support system. Um, it goes on to show throughout the movie that Emma had been staying with her grandmother and that's because her parents kicked her out once she told them that um, she is attracted to women. Um, unfortunate, but yes, that's the storyline. And so, yeah. So anyway, so they start going through these. Um, okay. I'm having a hard time explaining the movie. So anyway, it's a musical in the first place. So the movie is a musical. Musical. So we have these the singing scenes, these dancing scenes. Um, so yeah, that gives it more creativity. Um, so yeah, so they're all working on this common goal now, the different interests involved. Um, and M is also going in this relationship with the principal's daughter where um she is the principal daughter is actually sneaking um because she has not came out and her mom doesn't know that um she has a girlfriend and the school doesn't know so she's um just protecting herself from the possible backlash right 
Um, so throughout the movie, there was a fight for renewing the prom at the school. And then it turned out that the school went ahead and um, did a prom forced by um, the lawyer doing his job and getting the state involved. However, the first prom was separated. So everyone else in the school went to one prom and then Emma went to another and she got all dressed up and she was there by herself. So even her girlfriend, who she's expecting to come, did not come. So that was really a point that really hurt her feelings because, you know, she's like, I'm really having a bad night and you choosing to stay at this other prom. Um, so, yeah, that's what happened. Um, she really got discouraged. And two, the other Broadway celebrities um, continued to encourage her. And then she started figuring out some things um, herself or how she wanted to handle the situation. So it goes on to show um, her creating a YouTube video um, and expressing herself through music. Um, so that's also intervention, creative arts therapy. Um, and then she also created a whole new prom. So with the help of her Broadway celebrity friends um, they and the principal, they end up throwing a new prom and the, that new prom was super dope um probably the best looking prom i've seen <laughs> i was to prom several years ago so definitely the best looking prom as far as decorations um so yeah so some of the things i really want to pull from the movie um and just in general is to be who you are if you are in the lgbtq community be who you are um, love who you want to love. Um, sometimes the support system that you have for yourself is the support system that you create. And it can be in trying times and challenging times like this where you really um, can get other support because you're, you're um, going through these challenging times, right? Um, so yeah, I also want to jump right into... So it was a point in the movie where Barry, which is one of the um, so Broadway celebrities that came in to help Emma, um, stated that his mother himself um, had stated she, well, okay. So he got kicked out as well when he told his parents and stated his mother and family wanted to send him to counseling. Let's clear this up right now, guys. Counseling is not going to help um, with working with someone to change their sexual preference. That's not a reason to come to counseling, guys. Um, this is not a disorder. And I would just say it's up to like churches and spiritual um, organizations that would see this as a um, disorder. So yeah, counseling would not address that. Um, so what counseling would address would be um, some of the backlash that um, an individual may experience um, due to coming out. Um, and having the um, having to having loving um, the same gender, so some of this backlash can be bullying, which we saw in the movie um, with Emma, um, and shaming, um, isolation. Right? They create this whole other prom, you know, and people begin to pick sides. So Emma, she lost um, friends and family and just the list goes on and then also feelings of not being accepted so when her parents kicked her out barry's parents kicked him out um just not really feeling accepted by your family by your friends and and by society right so these are some things that counseling can address um just want to put that out there so in the movie um, it also shows the Broadway celebrities like Barry and Trent and Dee Dee um, becoming vulnerable themselves and being part of a love, love both in healing um, perspective where 
they were helping Emma, but they were also getting the support and they were also getting, um, yeah, the support to express themselves and really talk about their past and to grow. So they really experienced some groups as well. Um, Barry um, was able to make up with his mother and Dee Dee was able to love again after um, going through a divorce. Um, yeah, so those are just some examples of how the other characters were able to um, be vulnerable and to be part of this love, growth, and healing. Um, and then the movie also stressed empowerment. So we looked at how um, they were able to do a whole nother prom at the end where everyone was invited. Um, and then they also, Emma created a YouTube video where she expressed what her obstacles was, what her challenges was, and how she felt about everything that happened in the movie and who she was and not feeling accepted and um yeah so really the youtube video in the in the movie um oh i just got thrown off guys by the timing on the video <laughs> but anyway so um yeah uh I, I forgot my chain of thought but anyway she she made this video and it, it just outgrew and um and then you know it, it just led to um a form of empowerment so she chose her own way um of how to handle the situation um they wanted her to do like a be on a tv show that had 16 million people and she declined that and she handled it the the way that is best for her and you gotta think about um you know just life in general you're doing what's best for you right um so i also want the just give you these lovely tips so definitely love yourself love who you are do not let others um tell you how to live your life because at the end of the day it's your life and you're you're seeking your own happiness you're seeking your own love growth and healing and then um this movie is also good because it's it shows um different perspective it's a good awareness movie and then as well it shows advocacy right um this ultimately um what this channel is about awareness advocacy um and then being on the journey of love growth and healing so i'm going to stop here i'm going to challenge you to watch the movie um i hope i didn't say too much um go ahead and put your feedback on the movie below let's be positive vibe no negativity um this way um and put your check-ins below i'll see you next time and watch this movie guys